welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about Foxtel. Foxtel is a pay TV service in Australia. You got some options and packs. With the channel packs, you get various uh, entertainment packs essentially, and they all come in different channels. Now, with the options, you will have the IQ box, which doesn't use internet, it uses a satellite and it will cost more with $125 now I don't know if it comes in with a month or upright now the IQ box gives you 4k shows movies everything um, it's pretty much if you want the full Foxtel experience you want that with all the packs now you also got the online version or the internet version um, Foxtel now I believe um, it's pretty much the same except that you don't have 4k and it uses internet not the satellite now with the packs you get a starter pack for $25 a month um, you have to choose that you can't get rid of it but there are the packs that you can add on or leave without you can just go with the starter pack so the starter pack contains the pop and lifestyle pack now all the packs have channels they all got different channels um, I think at least five or more channels I believe um, so yeah the pop channels come in with channels like Fox 8 uh, Fox funny Fox whatever <laughs> all that sort of stuff Lifestyle comes with the lifestyle channels. Um, so again, that is $25 a month. That is the lowest you'll be paying for Foxtel. Now, different packs. There's sports pack, which has sports. I mean, it's pretty much everything sports, really. Um, it's coming in with $29 a month. Uh, it's got SBN, SBN2, Fox League, all that stuff. So... It will be giving you basketball, baseball, international sports, and national sports. Drama pack. That's got drama channels. I'm not too sure about that. But it does come in around $15 a month. Movies pack. That's a good pack. $20 a month. Uh, that's got a lot of good movies. Good movie channels like... Uh, Movies, thriller, premiere, comedy, everything. Pretty much all the genres on there. And it updates monthly. Um, kids and documentary. That's $20 a month. Now with the kids, you'll get uh, like Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Boomerang, them sorts of channels. Documentaries, documentary channels. You know, like crime investigations and that sort of stuff. $20 a month. If you want it all, all together, it will cost over a hundred dollars a month. That is a bit pricey. Um, yeah, you know, a lot uh, just for entertainment. Um, compared to free TV, though, I think it is worth it. But with oh, sorry, with the other streaming services like Netflix, Stan, all that sort of stuff, it's not worth it. A hundred dollars a month. And with the IQ box, it is going to cost more. Uh, once again, it's not worth it. Um, but only if you really want it and you want all these packs and entertainment, go for it. But there are stuff like Foxtel. Um, there is Binge and KO. I believe that they are both owned by Foxtel and they are both so much cheaper binge is pretty much the entertainment version you know it only contains the entertainment from foxtel and costs ten dollars a month that's the least and then ko 25 dollars a month it only contains sports so it's pretty much gotten all the fox sports into one thing so you don't have to buy any packs or anything so uh, 20, $25 a month, I believe. 
Um, so that is a bit of a discount, really. And so, yeah, it's a separate app. Everything, uh, I'll get into both of them apps, uh, Binge and Co, in a separate video. So stay tuned. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs>